Uh, welcome back. Um, episode two of the forty six um, touring project. Uh, this week I'm going to remove the old subframe, uh, get the subframe mounting points all reinforced because um, it's quite common on the E forty six for them to rust and also crack, um, especially when you're putting power through them. Uh, so good thing is this is a three one eight shell, so hopefully it should be um, nice and clean and there shouldn't be any cracks. So it'll just be a matter of um, cleaning it up and putting the reinforcement plates on. Um, I have a subframe all built up. If you watch previous videos, you'd see I built the subframe up ready to go on my Nardo Grey 46, uh, but didn't bother because it was too rusty. So I've got that all built up. Um, I was going to paint it. Um, I was watching another YouTuber, Division 47, and he painted all his nice and fresh. So I was going to paint mine, but um, to be honest, I haven't got um, time to do it. Uh, I've only got a certain amount of time to use the ramp and with other customer jobs um, I can't be taking up too much time so it's basically in get the old one off and get my new one on. I have cleaned it all up and it's all rebuilt um, but realistically I should be painting it. We normally paint customers cars um, getting powder coated with a subframe so it all looks fresh before we put it back on. Um, I can always take it off at a later date. I probably never will but um, it's obviously an option I could take it off if I needed to. Um, if you do want to see one nice and fresh, um, Division 47, I'll stick his link to his channel somewhere around here. And um, also the videos on there are very similar to ours with BMW stuff. And he's building an M44 and M42 Turbo at the moment. Um, so you might want to have a look. Uh, but other than that, yeah, mainly just um, get the old subframe off, get the new one back on and um, get the car rolling again. Uh, probably do it in a day, hopefully. Um, so enjoy. So all subframe is coming off, ready for a new one, all poly bush to go on, and some reinforcing plates. You that, do some that, crack work. That's Alex. That's Ross. Subframe is off and it's not too bad. Seen much worse. Big wheel of the front. Yeah, so that's the old one. New one is on the shelf. Ready to go on. The fuel tank is off. Now it's just time to clean up subframe mount points and uh, weld in some subframe reinforcement plates. Okay, so the subframe is off and everything is cleaned done it a lot quicker than expected uh, Ross gave me a hand uh, so it's much better when there's two people doing it and obviously on a ramp makes everything quicker uh, so I'm going to weld in the two front reinforcement plates first them two and then I'll get onto the back ones as you can see the, there's no cracks in the floor which is good um, it's quite common on a E46s, but this one's um, a 318 shell, so probably hasn't had the same power as like the likes of 330s and so on. Um, so I'm going to get them welded, um, get them welded in place now, and get that done. Okay, so um, subframe reinforcement plates all in and uh, all under sealed. <laughs> um, I was hoping to get all the floor painted and um, stuff like that, but I'm not going to get time. Um, it's quite clean anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. Next is to get the subframe and everything back on. Um, but I'll do that tomorrow now. As you can see, it's dark outside and it's um, quite late. So um, that'll be next on the list. Uh, new subframe, all ready to go on. Uh, new trailing arms, all built up with new bearings and new bushes. New back in place. Tank is back on.
So, just putting my subframe on, uh, my trailer arms back on. I noticed the rookie mistake, one that I've not made before. Well, I have nearly made it, but not as bad. Now I need to re-pull my fucking bearings. Back in plates are on the wrong side, bastard. I blame Ross over there. Don't blame me, bro. I wasn't even yet. You felt that happening wrong. Me. I blame James. Bastard. It's a subframe all fitted, um, back on the car, uh, well the diff before I refit that and I can't put the drive shafts in yet because I need to pull the hubs off to swap the back and plate around and swap the bearings. Um, I get bearings Monday morning, it's Saturday now so I can't get them Saturday afternoon, there's nowhere open to get them. Um, I get them Monday and I refit them. Uh, but that's it, I'll do another episode now next week, um, hopefully I'll get the engine out of the other car and I'm um, ready to go into this one, because um, my other car I snapped the drive shaft this morning so I won't be driving that again, there's only 6 days MOT left on it anyway. So I'll get the engine pulled, um, I've got a few new parts that have just arrived so I'll show you them in the next video and um, thanks for watching.